let's be honest, you know you should bother Cause with me, it's impossible to back again. Some people have been saying that I have a very monotone voice, but uh, I'm going to try and pick up on that. Uh, anyways, we're back here uh, with the LED color blade light demonstration. Uh, this time we're demonstrating the projection power of the LED system. So again, we have our DMX controller in front of us. Uh, if you watched the last video, it's an 8-channel controller that allows you to uh, control the dimness, the hold time and fade time of an, a lighting system in general. For us, it's an LED lighting system. Uh, you saw the demo previous to this of outside the car, so this was our red. Channel 1, green, was channel 2. Uh, blue is channel 3. And amber is channel 4. Uh, so with these channels, you can mix and match, so you can make whatever color. Here we've got yellow. Um, we can do green and blue to get some cyan, or we can do red and blue to get magenta. Uh, people may ask, why do you have amber? Uh, it's for those people who are very detail-oriented. It gives a higher CRI rating. Um, at any rate, the effects channel is channel 5, so we've got a pulsing red. Uh, pulsing green, uh, pulsing blue, and pulsing amber. And then we've got a color roll which goes through all the colors of a rainbow, so it's essentially scrolling through red, green, blue, uh, back and forth. Um, here's our cold colors, so it's switching between blue uh, and cyan and uh, green. And then we have our warm color roll, so it's yellow, reds, and greens. Uh, and now we have our strobe. Channel 6 allows us to control the frequency of the strobe, so you can see the strobe rate change. So we have red strobe, green strobe, blue strobe, and then white. Uh, this effect is, sc is scrolling between red green and blue. Uh, it has the same feature so you can alter the strobing frequency and then our last effect is our random. So this actually will just randomly turn the LEDs on and off at different patterns and rates uh, just giving a cool effect. So that's the effects. That's how it works. The other thing I want to demonstrate again before we did this the other time was how to use a DMX controller. So here we have our looks and again, we're going to use four looks to do the same demo as we did before, uh, which was having a blue strobe, a blue strobe uh, and a white strobe. So <clears throat> the first thing we do is set it to look one. We don't want any hold time or fade time. Both are zero. Good. Uh, so then we want a blank to start with. So we'll record blank. And then we want blue. So we set blue to full. Go to our second look because our second look is going to be a full blue. 
Then we have a hold time of zero. Fade time of one, we'll drop that to zero. Chord. And then look three will be blank, so we turn that down. Record, uh, we'll just check the hold and the fade, it's blank. And then back to look, record that. And then our fourth look will be white. So that's gonna be full RGB. Uh, it's a very cold white, so what we'll do is turn the blue down so it looks more like a warm white. Um, and then we'll check our hold time and our fade time. Fade is one, so we'll put that to zero. Record. And now we'll go back to our look and we'll hit play.